Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Amy with Northern Luminations. Um, today for our tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a spider. My son has really wanted me to make him one so we're going to tackle that. I'm going to be using these uh, tarantula glow bands from Rainbow Loom. Um, he's seen them and really wants a spider out of them so I think they're kind of neat looking. Um, I'm going to be using um, these, uh, I forget what they called them, but these ones are also glow bands, so I'm going to be using these for the head, that's what he wants, and then I'm using this uh, two-tone band um, for the underbelly, just so that it has like a shimmer to it, so it's got like the pink inside and then a pearly blue on the outside. Um, again, I recommend only using Rain Balloon band, uh, brand bands so that um, they just last longer and are easier to use. This is a hook only project so you'll need that. Um, you'll need some C-clips. Um, I'm using buttons for the eyes. So I'll have some of those. He wants five so I'll do that. Um, so to start, I'm making the legs. So we'll take one band, wrap it around your hook so that it creates five loops. Then take another band, and these ones I'm doing, the tarantula ones, stretch it out, cross it over, and double loop it onto itself. Pull that capping band onto it. So that's one. So we're going to do this eight times. Two, that's three, four, oops, five, six. Seven, and this is eight. So now I'm not going to reclaim the end on the eighth one. I'm going to get three more bands. I'm going to wrap all three of those around the hook, creating three loops. That's one, two, three. So now I'll reclaim that last end. And that's going to kind of give it a knee. So now I'm taking two bands at a time. I'm going to pull all these onto those two bands. Like that. Reclaim the end. So that's one. And these are all two bands now. Two, three, and four. Now here I'm going to be taking three bands, and we'll do that twice. Oops, got too many here. So once. And this is twice. So now I'm just using a random colored band. I'm going to just tie it off so that we don't lose it. And then there that kind of gives you a leg. So it'll kind of look like that. So I've gone ahead and I've made all my legs. So you guys will want to pause the video and go back and make seven more so that you have eight legs all together. And then when you're done that, come back to this point. So now I'm going to start on the body. Just get my C clips out here. Okay. 
Okay, so to start the body, we're going to do a magic ring. Two, three. So wrap a band around your hook three times so that you have three loops there. And we're going to do six stitches around. So pull it through and create a slip knot. Go back in all three bands. So that one was one, this one will be two. So you got it like this. Just pull that first band through all of them. That's two. Three. Four. Five. And this will be your sixth one. Like that, so you'll be able to see the stitches around the edge here. So one, two, three, four, five, and one on your hook is six. So I'll take my C clip now and just put it on that last stitch there. That marks our round so we can keep track. So the next round I'm going to do an increase in every stitch. So that you go in, do your stitch, go back in that same stitch and create another stitch and that's an increase. So that's the first one. So we want to make sure we do that on every stitch around. Go back in. It'll be interesting to see how these bands turn out in this project. Go back in, and there, so now you should have 12 stitches all the way around. I'm just going to move my C clip onto there mark that round. That's cool looking. Okay, so the next round we're going to do a single stitch in the first stitch followed by an increase in the second stitch and just repeat that pattern all the way around. So there's our first stitch and this one will be an increase. One, go back in that same stitch. That's two and repeat. That's our single stitch. Go back in, and this is our increase. And again, and increase. You want to make sure you don't miss any of your stitches around too because that will mess up the count and you'll end up with a hole. I've done that a couple times while learning how to do this. Okay, when you're at the end, you should have 18 stitches there. Go ahead and move the C clip. Okay, so our next round, we're going to do two single stitches followed by an increase. And then we would just repeat that pattern all the way around. So this is one. That's 
2, and this one is an increase. And again, 1, 2, and an increase here. Two followed by an increase, one, two, and an increase. And last time, two, and an increase on the last stitch. Take that off. There's that. So you'll have something that looks like this by now. So the next round we're just going to do a single stitch all the way around. Well, these stitches are sometimes hard to see. Okay, and then move our C clip. There we go, so now it's starting to get a little bit of a rounder shape to it. Okay, so this next round we are going to do three single stitches followed by an increase. So one, Two, three, and here we're going to do an increase. Okay, 
and again one two three followed by an increase And just keep repeating that pattern all the way around. And the last stitch will be an increase. Move your C clip here, or whatever your stitch marker is. So it's looking pretty neat. <laughs> Interesting to see what this looks like when it's glowing in the dark. Okay, I'm just the wiggles. Okay, so the next one. We're going to do four single stitches followed by an increase and repeat that pattern all the way around. So one, two, three, And here we'll do an increase. And repeat that pattern. Two, three, four, and here we'll do an increase. One. Sorry about that. Two. Three. Four. And an increase.
crease. These rounds are fairly simple. There's nothing too crazy about them yet. stitch move your stitch marker and there so you'll have something like this so far next round we're gonna do five single stitches followed by an increase and repeat that pattern all the way around so about one Two, three, four, five, and we'll do an increase here. And again. Two, three, four, five, and here we'll do an increase. One. Three, four, five, and then an increase. And again. One, two, three, four, five, and an increase again. And last time, Increase on the last stitch. Okay, move your C clip again. Like so. The spider will be fairly large. I kind of like making large projects. Um, this next round, we're just going to do a single stitch all the way around. Just 
start on the first stitch, kind of jumped over one there. This is a long round. I don't think I mentioned the band count at the beginning. Um, it'll be in the description and stuff, but this project does take my band count is 1,650. So, that does use a fair amount. I didn't quite have enough to do the entire spider in these tarantula ones, so that's why my son designed it. But the other bands as well. Okay, the end of that round. Oops. Move your stitch marker. There. But we'll start to round out here soon. Okay. In this next round, we're going to do a single stitch six times, followed by an increase. So one, two, three, four, five, Six. And this one's going to be the increase. So we'll go back in. Okay, and then just keep repeating that pattern all the way around. If I'm counting it so that I can keep track. One, two, three. 
four, five, six, and here I'm going to do an increase again. Six and an increase here. And again, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, and an increase. Last time. Six and an increase on the last stitch here. And move your sleet C clip. Okay, so now we're gonna start doing some rounds the same and then attaching the legs as we go along. Um so the next rounds here, so the next three rounds, we're just going to do a single stitch all the way around. Alright, so I'm going to do a little bit of this round with you, tangled up here, and then I'm going to pause the video and finish it off camera so that my videos don't get too crazy long, but we just want to do three rounds the same. So just make sure you keep track of um, how many rounds you're doing. You can either, some I use tally sticks, some use, um, you can use bands, like put three out. And when you come to the your last stitch, you'll use one of your bands. Um, but I like tally, stick, tally marks to keep um, track of what round I'm on. So just finish off those three rounds and Come back to this part in the video when you are finished. Okay, so at this point you should have something that looks like this. And this round we are going to be attaching the legs. So I'm just going to lay it down. Where's my top? Kind of just planning where to put my legs. Okay. Okay. So right about.
that there. So I'm going to put my hook back in here. And then I got that figured out. Okay, so I'm going to do a single stitch eight times. So one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay. Uh, just let me think here. I haven't actually tried this on my own yet. Um, just give me a second here. Pull that through. Pull the leg on. Pull that through. Put the leg down. Okay. So to do this. Hopefully this will work. Put your hook through your next stitch. Put one of your bands on. Pull that through to this point. Do not catch the end yet. Just hold it on so you got the last stitch and the new stitch on there. Then what I'm going to do is take the leg. Now I got these tied off, so I'm just going to follow the tying band through all the loops onto my hook. I'm going to pull that tying band off here and I think I put that on the wrong way. I want them to face out. Oh, hold on, i got to think this through here. Okay, so you want them, whichever way they're bent, you want them bent down so not up, but take it like this and then turn it down. And then place it on your hook. And kind of push it up to the top so that that's the way it will go. Now if you grab this one, this last, reclaim the end of the last stitch, pull the leg onto it. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. And then pull this band that you just reclaimed all the way through the other two bands. So that is your stitch. Okay, and then you just, I think that's right. If it doesn't bend right, we can always bend it differently after. So then go through the next stitch. I'm going to do two single stitches now. That was one, this will be two, and we're going to do that again here. So take your band, pull it through, I'm just going to put the other end on my finger there, follow my tying band in, let's make sure I get this on properly here. Bent this way, turn it down. Should be good that way. Try and get that tying band off. Sorry if I kind of go off camera or too close. I'm just trying to get this. Way. Reclaim that end. I'm going to pull the leg onto that band and then pull it through the stitches. Okay, there. So that's two on so far. Okay. So now I'm going to do two single stitches again. I 
that, go through, bend, grab a bend, pull it through, hold the end. Is that enough space? Should be. Put that on my hook, pull the tying band off, and let's see if I got it the right way again. don't want to come off. There you go. Uh, no, turn it over so that it's going to be the right way. Pull the leg onto that last band once you reclaim it and then pull it through the two stitches. on. You kind of want to look after you attach the leg at the stitch to figure out where it is because it's hard to tell if it's this stitch or this stitch. But if you give it, pull it out a little bit, you can see the one it's looped around and then you know that one's already been stitched so you can go on to the next one. So again, we'll stitch two. Two, okay, and then here we'll do the last leg for this side. Hopefully those aren't too close together. Go through, take my tying band off. See, haha, <laughs> I got it on the right way that time. Can't lose that band, put you in there, pull the leg through. And then pull it through the last two. So then when you kind of spread it out, it will look, it will kind of pop out like this, hopefully. Pull it. <laughs> I think Ashley relies on everyone's opinions. Okay, and my two-year-old just turned my TV on, so give me one second, you guys. All right, sorry about that. I dealing with my... Little yeah. girl. Here. Easy. Eh. Whoa. Red. Now, when you put these legs on, you want to make sure. Um, don't worry about the way they're bent too much because we can always change that. But once you've got it on, and you come back to go into the next stitch. You want to make sure that you go under the leg, leg, not over it, because if you go over it, it pushes it in. You go under it, and it keeps it on towards the outside. And then we can continue around here. A couple, I'm just kind of, I don't have this actually written down anywhere. I'm just kind of going off of how it looks to me, so... This is the first time I'm actually making it, so I'm just kind of going along as we go here. Um, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've gone seven, eight. Nine. Okay, I'll go ten times around from that last leg. Okay, and then we'll get our other four legs out here. Yeah, that should be pretty good. So then that gives us room to put the head on. Alright. Okay, so put another band through. Hold it on the end, grab one of your legs, put it on your hook. If you have a tying band on it, take the tying band off. Like so. Pull that through, I'm just gonna push it up. Okay, go. Two more over. Okay, go 
go through this one. Put a band on your hook. Don't reclaim the end. Put it on your finger. Go through the tying band here. Got the loops on. Pull the tying band off. Reclaim the end. Pull your leg onto that and pull it through. Push it up. Make sure you go underneath it. Two more stitches. Okay, go for the next one. Do the same thing. Reclaim the end. Too many bands there. Um, Pull it through, push it up. And we want to do two stitches. And then let's attach the last leg here. So put our stitch through. Sorry about that. Tying band off. Make sure you have all the loops on your hook. Pull that band through that was on your finger. Pull it through. Push it up. And finish the round with single stitches. Okay, so move your stitch marker. That finishes off that round. I think I got the legs kind of good on there. Leave space for the head to be attached. Looks really good. We can bend them all the right way they need to go. Um, here, once we finish the belly and stuff and get it stuck so that we can make sure that they're all facing the right way. Um, so now for this round, we kind of changed things up a little bit because I have more bands than I thought I did um, for this tarantula ghost. So I'll be able to uh, do the head in that as well so it will look better. Um, so what I'm going to do, we're still going to do the stomach in a different color underneath. So I'm just going to use this Midnight um, Glow from Rain Balloon. So it's these oh. bands here, they're kind of, they got the blue and a little bit of a purplish color it looks like on them as well as black um, so we're going to use that as the underbelly there just to give it a little bit of different color so I'll show you how to start that off here so when you switch colors with this because I'm switching now underneath the legs um, what you do to start it off with a different color is you pull it through all the bands so then you'll just have the two on there and then reclaim it and tie a slip knot. And then that starts you off for a new color. So now we're going to do just a single stitch all the way around for five rounds. What would I have here? Where am I? Yeah, for five rounds. Um, and then so go ahead and do those rounds. Keep track of which ones you're on again and then 
um, I'll be starting off with this different color here and then meet me back at this spot when you're done the five rounds and we'll continue on to finish this off and then make the head. So at this point you should have had those five rounds done after attaching the leg. And let's see what's going on here. Okay, so at this point you should have those rounds done. So now we're going to start doing a decrease. So for the first one we're going to do a single stitch in the first six stitches and then a decrease. And then repeat that pattern around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and here, so you go in, bring your hook back around to the center and go in the stitch beside it and we do our decrease. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and here we'll do our decrease. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and here is our decrease. And again, one, two, three, four, Six, and here's a decrease. And again, one, two, three. Four, five, six, and a decrease. Okay, and last one. One. Three, four, five, six, 
six, and here's our decrease. And move our stitch marker. Okay, so the next round, we're gonna do five single stitches and then a decrease. And repeat that all the way around. do a decrease Oops. one two three One, two, three, four, five, and a decrease. decrease Two, three, four, five, and a decrease here in the last two. Stitch marker. Okay, so the next round is four single stitches followed by a decrease. Two. 
two. decrease here a decrease. One, two, three, four, and a decrease. a decrease on the last two stitches. Okay, move your stitch marker. This is going to be a big spider. <laughs> um, okay, next round we're going to do three single stitches followed by a decrease. Repeat that all the way around. So one, two, three, and then a decrease. And keep repeating that.
Okay, so this next round we're just going to go all the way around, um, just single stitches, just to kind of help it not get like a flat underside. Okay, so I think we're going to decrease it, we'll decrease it a little bit more and then we're going to stuff it. So this round we're going to do two single stitches and then a decrease. So one, two, and then a decrease. and then a decrease. A decrease. One, two, and a decrease. A decrease on the last two stitches. Um, okay, I'm gonna move my stitch marker here. I'm gonna take my hook out. I'm gonna do let's just attach this to stitcher. It'll work there like that just to hold it in place. 
Um, I'm using polyfill for the stuffing. Um, but you can use uh, tissue, um, some old rubber bands. If you have the, the save the broken ones, those work too. But yeah, I'm using polyfill, so stuff them. Make sure you don't stuff them too much. Otherwise, the bands will pull apart and it will create gaps. And the stuffing will come through, so. Figure out how much you want in him. That's good. That's gonna be a cool looking spider. <laughs> clip here. So for this next round we're going to do a stitch and then a decrease. So that's one and then here you do a decrease. And just keep repeating that pattern all the way around. And this next round is just decreases all the way around. I'm going to take the stitch marker out now and I'm going to do go through this one, skip the one in between and go through the next one. So I went into the first stitch on the round, skipped one and went into the next one after that. I'm going to pull a band through all of these and tie off a slip stitch. And then what I do is I attach a C-clip to it to kind of help keep it together. And I'll just tuck it into the body. Like that. So there you go. That is the body all finished. So now you can start bending the legs, pull them out a little bit, and adjust their bends so that they're facing the right way. 
might put wire in them. We'll see what my son says. He doesn't like wire in his stuff. But, all right, so now that we got that done, we can start working on the head. Alright, so I'm going to use my tarantula bands again to make the head here. So we're going to start like usual with our magic ring. So three loops around your hook and then we're going to put six stitches around that. So put a band on your hook pull those three rings on, have the two ends, and pull a slip stitch. Go back into those three, pull that through, grab your end, so that's two. Make sure you go back in all three loops. That's three. four, five, and this one is six, there, grab your stitch marker, place that on, so now you can see your stitches all the way around on the edge here, so go in the first one, we're going to do an increase in all the stitches. Well, there's one stitch, go back in that same one and do another stitch and continue that process all the way around. These bands that I'm using, they terrify my two-year-old. She actually thinks it's a bag full of spiders and she'll get them out and throw them on the floor. She's absolutely terrified of them. It's funny. Move your stitch marker. There, the next one we're going to do a single stitch followed by an increase. So go into your first stitch, and that's your single stitch there. Go into the next stitch and do an increase like that and repeat that pattern all the way around. Just make sure you keep track of where all the stitches are. It's very easy to skip over one. You want to really make sure that you don't do that because then you'll end up with holes in your pattern when you uh, go to put stuffing in them. And move your 
stitch marker again at the end of that round. Okay, the next one we're going to do a single stitch in the first two stitches followed by an increase and then repeat that pattern six times all the way around. So that's one, that's two, and an increase here. One, two, and an increase. So just keep following that pattern all the way around. And last set here. And an increase on the last stitch. Okay, move your stitch marker. Keep track of your round. So the next round is just the same. I'm just going to follow it all the way around in single stitches. Okay, that was my last one. Move my stitch marker. Just even my stitches out a little bit. Okay, so the next round we're going to do a single stitch in the first three followed by an increase. So one, two, 
three and then an increase here. And again, one, two, three, and an increase. And again, one, two, three, and an increase. Two, three, and an increase. One, two, three. And an increase. One, two, three, and this will be an increase on the last one. Move my stitch marker again. Okay, um, next round is four single stitches followed by an increase. One, two, three. And on this one, we're going to do an increase. Okay, and just keep repeating that pattern all the way around. One, two, three. Four, and then an increase. One, two, three, four. And an increase. an increase here. One, two, three, and an increase. Okay. 
one last time. One, two, three. And this will be an increase here. Okay, move our stitch marker. So now the next five rounds are just going to be the same all the way around. Um, so again, um, use tally marks or rubber bands or c-clips to mark the rounds you're on to keep track of them but um, do the next five rounds I'll start this one with you and then I'll do them the rest of mine off camera just because it makes for a long video and it's boring <laughs> there's not much to show you guys while doing this oh, bands are running away Okay, so I'm going to finish this off camera, do five rounds, and then come back, and we will continue on. Alright, welcome back everyone. So at this point, you should have something that looks like this after doing those five rounds. So now we're going to start decreasing and closing off the head. So for the first one around, we're going to do four single stitches and then a decrease, and repeat that pattern all the way around. One, two, three, four, and then a decrease. I'm sorry about the noisy little one in the background, but I'm going to work around her. So, one. Two, three, four, and then a decrease here. And again, one, two. three, four, and a decrease here. One, two, three, Four and a decrease here. One, two, three, four, and a decrease here. One, two, three, four, and the last two is a decrease. Okay, and move our stitch marker. One second, I just gotta go rescue my kitten. Alright, sorry about that guys. Let's try and get this finished here. Where do I need to go in? Right there. Okay, so the next round we're gonna do three single stitches followed by a decrease. So one, 
two, three, and now we'll do a decrease here. We this, do this, 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 this. Okay, and again. One. One. Two. Three, and then a decrease. Again, one, two, three, and a decrease. Again, one, two, three, and a decrease. And again, one. And two, three, and a decrease. And one more time. One, two, Three and a decrease. Okay, move our stitch marker. So the next round is the same. So we're just going to do the same single stitches all the way around just so that we don't end up with a flat head. you find that I um, move fast with these stitches, um, just make sure that you use the pause button in the video so that you don't get behind or frustrated because I know some of you are just starting out with this and sometimes I move fairly quickly, sometimes I'm slower. <laughs> Move your stitch marker when you're at the end of the round. I always stretch them out, especially when you're decreasing, because then some of the stitches get pulled close together. So you just kind of stretch them all out a little bit to make your end edge uh, neater. All right, so the next round we're going to do two single stitches followed by a decrease. 
what we got. Come on, careful, Paisley. Sorry guys, hold on a second. That was two stitches I did. Alright, sorry about that. So that was two stitches I've done so far. So now we're going to do our decrease. And then we're going to follow that all the way around to the end. One. Two, and then a decrease. Two and a decrease here. Make sure I'm going in the right stitches. One, two, and a decrease. Two and a decrease. And then we're going to move our stitch marker again. And I think here I'm going to take my hook out, attach my stitch marker just to the stitch here beside it, just to keep my stitches in place and we're going to put some stuffing into the head now. So again I'm using the polyfill. So we want to be careful not to overstuff it. Just put enough in so that it keeps its shape. And kind of roll it around. Even it out, should be good. Okay. So let's hook that. Put my hook back in it. Okay, and we're going to continue. So the next round we're going to do a single stitch followed by a decrease. And repeat that pattern all the way around. So that was the stitch and now the decrease. And again, a single stitch. Followed by a decrease. Single stitch. And a decrease. Stitch. And a decrease. Stitch. 
and a decrease. Okay, that finishes off that round. Move your C clip or stitch marker. Okay, so this next stitch is just decreases all the way around. As you're doing this, make sure you don't catch any of the uh, stuffing that we have in there because then that will give it a furry look, which might not be too bad on this project, but it won't look very neat. So. I'm not going to put the stitch marker on. I'm not going to move it. So again, I'm going to go in this first stitch here. Let's make this not so blurry. So I'm going to put my hook in through this first stitch. I'm going to skip this one and I'm going to go into the third one. So go into that first one, skip that second one, go to the center and come up in the third one. And then I'm just going to do a slip stitch through all of this. Nope. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay. So go into the first stitch, skip that one, go into the third, try and bring it through without extra bands this time. There we go. So there's my slip stitch right there. I'm going to take a C-clip, put that on there, and then I'm going to tuck this into the body here, somewhere close to where we did it. So always find a hole that will fit the C-clip in. So tuck those bands in there. The C-clip helps hold it in. And there you go, you got the head. So now we're going to work on attaching it to the body. All right, so now I'm gonna use the body color bands. So we got the body. I'm gonna attach the head to the spider. So I'm gonna place it onto my body. And then what I do is I find four points kind of on all sides to tack it on just so that I can see make sure I got it in place so that's one paisley what? stop pushing buttons please so I'll go in about here Try not to grab the stuffing. Stop, please. So pull those through. And you can kind of see the placement. How it looks. Try and stay underneath, like where you want to attach it. You don't want it attached way out there, but oh, stuck in that one. Okay. Yeah. 
Hazy. Hazy, stop please. should give you a good idea of the placement on there so if you're happy with where you have it um, you can continue on I think that looks pretty good so now once you have it in the spot where you want just continue around the head under here placing some more bands um, a good space is this way your head will be secured to the body. So I'll try and keep them at fairly close intervals. Make sure they all stay t stay tied as we go here. I'm sorry if sometimes I go off the camera there. I just sometimes have to use my body to get this on properly. Okay, so that looks about good. So I'm going to start at the bottom here. So what I'm going to do, it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but I'm starting with this stitch over here where this finger is. So I'm going to go where this stitch is over here, I'm going to go into the body with my hook, come up where this stitch is, I'm going to grab that band, pull it through over to where this other stitch was, leave it on my hook, grab the next stitch, and pull it through. So we'll do that again. So this is your first stitch, this will be your second stitch here. So underneath the second stitch, go into where the body is, come up where your first stitch is, pull it through, and then grab the second stitch on your hook and pull it through that first one. In this way, it stitches the body, the head onto the body, but it doesn't leave a big bulky seam. Um, I'm not a fan of that, those Seems some of my projects have them, and I wasn't, I didn't really think they were very neat, so um, figured out this way to do it. The same kind of stitching that you do, just I get it tucked into the body. So just continue that all the way around in that same order. Try not to grab the fluff like I just did there. <laughs> Try and keep this neat looking. Sometimes it's hard at this point because you're trying to work with these bands as well. And these ones I find are hard to see. <laughs> through this one. So now that I'm at the last one, what I do, I, I treat it the same way I did the others. I go in to a point. So wherever along here that I'm going to do my slip stitch, I go through, I pull my band through there, 
keep it on my hook I'll go through some of the body the point on the head grab an extra band pull it through all that create a slip stitch so that it's all tied off grab another C clip and tuck that down into the body so there now your head is attached fuzzies on it so the other thing um, my son wants on this is he wants his eyes he wants five eyes on it so I'm going to be using buttons for those he chose the colors so I'm going to try and get these he wants five eyes placed on here and I'm also going to do like a little red mouth because he wants some little white fangs stitched on so I'm going to show you guys how to do that if you guys want if you don't you can just put the two eyes on and or yeah. however many eyes you want but I'm going to try and figure out how to get these eyes on so that's what he wants his to look like which actually look kind of like a spider <laughs> What? So that's what he wants. What? So I'm just going to use, I'll use my tarantula bands with these ones as well. Um, so I guess what I'll do is I'll place one. So what I'm going to do to get this on is I'm going to take one of my body colored bands. I'm going to pinch it so that it's tiny and I'm going to try and shove it through this little hole here. I've done this once before. Hopefully it works this time as well. I'd have to use other things to thread it on. Okay, so I got that through. I'm just going to go to the opposite point. Give it a little twist, seems to help. Push that through. Hopefully you can see that. So there, I got one eye threaded. So then what I'll do is attach a secret to one side. Place it on here. I'm going to go through the body. Actually, I should do this the other way. Sorry, guys. Kind of spot. Go through a little bit. Grab the band that doesn't have the C clip on it. Pull it through. Try not to grab the stuffing like I just did. Attach that one to there, and then push that down underneath, down in. Alright, so there's one eye. So go ahead, place as many eyes as you want. I'm going to finish the rest on um, with you guys right this second. Um, I am going to show you how to place a mouth and the fangs that he wants. So just one second here. Okay, so I got all the eyes on here. So now I'll show you how to make just a little mouth with some little things. So I'm going to go in right about here. Tie a slip knot. Try not to stretch the bands. I'm just going straight across. Not really making it smile or anything. And just stitch it across like you would if you were regularly stitching. And do one more to tie it off. So this one, I'm going to pull it all the way through, create a slip stitch. I'll fix it in a minute. And I 
always put C clips on because then it kind of holds it down in the body. And if it does happen to come out, um, your bands don't all just fall apart right away. Okay, so now I'm going to take some white for his little fangs. I'm going to go in right there. Do a slip stitch. Go in. And then we'll do one more down. Try not to use stretched out bands or overstretched. Because then it doesn't look as neat. Center here. Touch that band. Do another one here. in that one. I'm going to tuck it in the body here at the end of the mouth. There's one little thing. I'm sorry if I kind of go off camera. I'm trying to focus on this. And I seem to be going off a lot right now. Okay. So again, tie a slip stitch. I'm gonna go down. Go down one more. You're just pretty much stitching wherever there's a band, if you can find a band to stitch. I'm gonna do my slip stitch one down in the center here. Try to do a slip stitch through. There we go. Like so, put another C clip on it. One for my mouth popped up. I'm gonna push this one down in there. Push that down in there. So going down in there. Okay. So there. Push that one back in there. So there we have a spider with some little fangs. Well, that's what he should look like now. He's got that bluish, purplish belly. So, pretty cool. Be neat to see him in the dark. Um, go ahead, show me your creations when you're done on my Facebook page. Um, at Facebook slash Northern Illuminations. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And we will see you in the next tutorial.